it has been way too long, but we're finally back here in Call the Wild the Angler for another legendary fish adventure, this time going for the legendary burbot here on Norway. I've really been excited for this one to become active again, and by the way, if you're looking for legendaries in the angler, a really good place to hang out is the official discord for the angler. When the community members find the locations of the legendaries, they'll often post them there, and from what I've seen, he's been being encountered all the way up here in the northeast, just at the kind of creek running out of this lake. So we're going to fast travel over to this location, and we'll have to take a jeep up to the lake, which is probably a mile or so away, and then we'll get set up and try to get them. Now, as per usual, we'll be showing how to catch this legendary as well. So if you're following along, the first thing to do is go into your handbook and take a look at the bait and lore preferences for the legendary you're targeting. For the legendary burbot, the bait and lore preferences are liver, shad, and red worm. And this is actually why I've been really excited for this one. Flow fishing for a legendary is not something we've gotten to do yet. So as for our setup, we're going to want to go ahead and select a flow fishing setup. We're going to use the Eisvogel rod, the 22 pound reel, we do have 27 pound fluorocarbon, we'll need a float, I want to use red worms, so we're going to use a size 3 hook, and we'll get that set up. I think red worms would be a really cool bait to actually catch this guy on. The next step, as with any legendary, is to try to see if we can locate him just from the surface. I don't think we'll be able to in running water, but we'll just take a quick stroll through here and see if we see anything out of the ordinary. And at least at first glance, I'm not seeing much of anything, but I think this would be a good spot to cast in. We'll try it here where it's at least relatively flat, and we're going to drop this down maybe about two feet. I don't think the water's much deeper than that. And if there is a legendary hiding back in there in the waterfall, this should be enough to get his attention. So we'll go ahead and focus on that, which is absolute chaos over there. Maybe we'll bring it this way a little bit. That must be him literally right there. This could be really interesting. I'm going to try to put this a little upstream of him, just so if he does bite, we don't have a problem with him going too far downstream. And I think he is heading up to get it. I don't want to turn on the focus, because it's going to kind of be jumping up and down. He's on his way over there. Look at the size of that guy. He's literally just feet away. I hear a little jingle. Really taking his time with it. There we go. And this could be a really interesting fight. We're sitting at 30% drag at the moment, and I think based on our line size, we probably can bring it up some. But there's not a lot of places he can go other than directly downstream that cause us much of a problem. And if he does that, we might be able to use that momentum to bring him back this way. But he's working his way upstream now. Now we're just going to slowly increase drag until we get to a point where it's not very comfortable. 35 feet, he seems to be running into probably the opposite bank. We might be able to just start slowly pumping and bring him this way. We're going to have to tire him out because we're just at the standstill here. Oh, I do see him again. Are we going to be able to just pull him at this? We might be able to. We're making like a tiny bit of progress every single time. I think this spot, like he has the energy to fight it, but he doesn't have anywhere to go. Like he's still going to run a little here. To try, ooh, I don't know if we want to do that. Might not go to 70%. Under 20 feet now. We've actually been doing pretty decent. Just kind of pumping when he's straight. Oh, look at the size of him. When we pump him up to the surface, he looks enormous. We got to be right there where we can land him. And one important thing when you're doing this is to make sure that you're not going to run into the bank. We had that chance there for a second. We're in a good spot here. We just need to bring him a little bit closer. We're at 12 feet, literally. And if we go any closer at all, we get that secure catch prompt, and immediately he goes beyond that. We gotta get him just a tiny bit further. He's slowly coming this way, and we're making progress on that secure catch bar every single time. That's gonna get him out of the water. Look at the scar over his eye. 21.7 pound. Almost five foot legendary bourbon. It was only a three minute fight, which is kind of to be expected in a location like this. What a cool looking fish. And even though weight wise, I think he's gonna be 
maybe the smallest legendary we've got? I can't remember the weight of Goldstein. Size-wise, he still doesn't even fit on the entire screen. He's that big. Got a chance to screenshot there when he was completely visible. That is a cool-looking fish. By the way, we got an achievement on Steam. This is our first burbot we've ever caught. And that is a pretty cool one. So that equipment, which you can get relatively early on in the game, is more than enough to bring this guy in. And if you have been waiting to catch this particular legendary or hoping to get a chance to, I think his current location this week is a really good spot to do it. Just to kind of show again, we're at the bottom of this waterfall, right here in the northeast kind of corner of the map. Took a little bit to get up here, but it was well worth the trip for our first burbot ever to be a legendary. So I kind of thought based on the size of the fish and just the equipment that we had at our disposal, this could be a fairly quick fight. And because of that, we're going to spend a little bit more time today actually on Golden Ridge Reserve fishing and working on some of the daily challenges. I really want to start to get our level up and start to earn some credits because we've got a decent bait casting setup, but our spinning setup is kind of lacking. So at the moment, we only have 72 credits. And if you saw earlier, we had more credits than that. I actually just bought the Daredevil Rod, but we are well shy of the 20,000 credits needed to buy the reel we want to go with it. So if we look at the daily challenges, we can activate up to three, and I think these two, catching a fish of basically nine pounds and catching just seven fish in general, should be very doable. So we're going to activate both of those. And if we look at what's left, two golds or nine largemouths, I say we go for two golds. That should all be achievable, honestly, just while fishing for the same things. So let's head out and see if we can get ourselves some XP. Now, originally, I wanted to do a little bit of exploring areas that we've not been to, and then I realized there's actually only 20 minutes left on this daily challenge, so we gotta make these move pretty quickly, and therefore, at least for the moment, we're gonna try fishing for some trout in spots that we've been to before. So, we're gonna work with our popper here, and see if we can get a little attention from the golden trout in here. Well, apparently when all else fails, Throw a spoon lure on the end of our brand new fishing rod, and we can just pull a golden trout out of here, no problem. I've never seen the popper not work with them, but that was basically immediate, and maybe we have a chance yet at completing this in less than 20 minutes. So let's start just kind of finding spots to cast. Now, I think we'll need a diamond to eclipse that nine pound mark, but if we have to, and if there's time left, I think we can go get a pike somewhere that'll fall into that range. Gotta say though, that one does look pretty good. We gotta slow our retrieval way down to even get them to hit, but that one's gonna be fairly solid anyway. Oh, that's a rainbow, no wonder. <laughs> that makes a little more sense. If there's rainbows in here, we could absolutely top nine pounds. Obviously not that one, but there might be a decent one in here that would get us there for the moment. We're going to try to keep catching some of these smaller ones to get that seven fish uh, a challenge done. And I think we can make this happen. We just got to keep on retrieving this basically across the entire pond. The way that we're having the most luck is just covering a bunch of water. And eventually one of them will end up following it and giving us a hit. I still don't think we're quite up to gold there. Which all these challenges, I think, only have 20 minutes left. So that could be a problem. But... We're bound to run into a good size one eventually. Gotta say, it is a very different deal fishing like this versus fishing for a legendary. A little faster on the retrieval, but that's number four. There's number five. Little more tension on this one. If that is a golden trout, which it appears to be, at least we might get one of our two goals that we need. Now, if we can't get them here, there's another pond like a thousand feet away that's also pretty good. I think that's still going to be a silver. That's interesting. He was fighting harder, seemingly. That's going to be number six. And again, a decent looking golden. But we're not going to get too crazy here because they always end up being silvers. That's a four pounder anyway. He's way out there. But number seven is chasing. As long as we can set the hook, that's going to complete that challenge. I've actually never messed with the challenges before. 
but I think this is something we definitely need to do more of, and I think it can help us in our quest to earn those 20,000 credits to buy the best spinning reel in the game. Only a two-pounder, but that's our seven fish. Now, see what the remaining time is. That says 260. Was that how much we were getting for that? That is not a bad deal if so. 260 for the two gold, and I think... Oh. We completed the weight challenge. That one was actually about aggregate weight, I guess. Well, if we can go and catch two gold in five minutes, which I don't love our chances, we could get one more done. But I'm thinking the daily challenges are going to reset. And we can just dive back in, no pun intended, and maybe get a couple more done? So, as expected, the dailies have reset. Unfortunately, we weren't quite able to get all three of those done, but now we've got 24 hours to get them done, and I'm looking through our options. We could try to catch 12 fish, which we've got a bunch today. I don't think we're going to go that route, but catching 20 pounds worth of fish, I think is one that we can definitely get done, because another one on here is to catch a gold at Northern Pike. If we do, we're looking at probably 75% of this 19 pounds done. And in the meantime, I think we can catch four bronze fish just trying to get them. So if we do this correctly and activate all three, we should be good to go. And as we wait for a decent pike to show up, we do have a large mouth here. And just maybe we should have considered activating that challenge. This guy's just a little four pounder, but we need four fish anyway. And ideally, we catch one big pike and three others. I know this lake can definitely have good-sized pike. Just a matter of us being in the right location. What was that? Is that a really big catfish? Or... I don't even know what. Ooh, I think it is. And we got his attention. This could be something pretty solid. Just gotta make sure we... Don't jump the gun on this, because they're usually pretty slow in taking the bait. We have 40 pound test on. And he's actually running with this line. I think, just based on our setup, we can probably overpower him, but we haven't caught very many, if any, big catfish. And this guy, I mean, up to 60% drag and pumping, it's all we can do to gain any ground on him. This probably is going to complete the remainder of our weight challenge. Not the pike we're here for, but this could be pretty cool. I think we're slowly wearing him down. When we bring this up to 80% drag, we're able to slowly start working him this way. I can see him as we got to bring him up to the surface. That's a really nice catfish. Probably going to be our personal best regardless of what he actually is. Definitely not what I thought we were going to see out here. Got him into range to land. What do we have here? A 17 pound gold. That is not far off diamond. Definitely our best channel cat ever. I think it's 20 pounds or less for a diamond channel cat. That's a really nice one. So that basically leaves us only needing the 19 pound Northern Pike. And that would complete the remaining two objectives. And, just as we set out to do, we've leveled up. This might just be our gold pike. We're kind of struggling much like with the catfish to bring him in. Maybe not struggling quite as much, but we also don't need a 17 pounder to crack gold. I think I said 19 earlier. I actually don't know the gold requirement for pike offhand, but I want to say it's maybe 10 or 11 pounds. I'm not sure he's quite that. Because pike do fight insanely hard for their size. Let's just pull this guy up here and find out. At least we'll maybe have an idea of like what sort of tension to be looking for. Let's get him the rest of the way up under it. I mean, he's still making it pretty tough. He's not bad. He's at the landing range here. And we got to bring him a little closer to the boat. There we go. So what is this guy? A solid silver at 10.3 pounds, so close. I think, unfortunately, the gold northern pike is going to get the best of us today. We've been so close several times, what I've actually ended up doing was going ahead and activating weekly challenges, and we've worked our way through a number of those just on the quest for a 
Gold Northern Pike, and we've not been able to accomplish it. So, I guess this one daily challenge we're going to end up failing, but we've leveled up again in the process, largely thanks to the amount of XP we've gotten from doing the weeklies. We caught well over 88 pounds of fish by now trying to do that. Nearly 35 bronze plus and 33 total, counting the, I guess that would be five juveniles that we've caught just in the process of doing this. This week we'll definitely knock out these two weeklies and gain that XP. And I think we found something to kind of mess with on top of going for the last couple of legendaries that we're after. We've also, by the way, earned up to now 3000 credits. We're moving pretty quickly as we level up and I'm looking forward to doing more of that in the future. Hopefully, we can come back, legendary or not, next time, and do more of these challenges. I really enjoyed trying to complete those. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.